Hello, I'm Chef Eric Hansen at the Bothy Downtown on 124th and Jasper Ave, making my signature dish today, Cabot Cheese. First thing I'm gonna do is pour some cream into this mixer. And we're gonna turn it on and let it go until it separates into butter. And now we play the waiting game. We're slowing it down because nobody wants to get a face full of buttermilk. And we're just waiting for it to separate all the milk out and we're pretty close to done. This looks uh, like we're ready to go and continue kneading our butter. Now that this guy's finished, we're gonna put it into a strainer. We're just gonna let it sit here as it slowly drips out all the excess liquid, leaving us with a nice creamy butter. All right, so after an hour, we've got our delicious butter that's been totally drained. And we just need to knead this a little bit more to get the excess buttermilk off that's trapped inside. So what we're gonna do is roll it around, applying a little pressure into the bowl. It accumulates, and then to get that off, we just simply dunk it in a little cold water, rolling off all the extra buttermilk. Now to the cheese portion. We're going to take the butter that we've already made and knead in a little bit of Malden salt, which is gonna improve the flavor and the texture. And once incorporated, we're gonna add six tablespoons of sour cream and one cup of cream cheese. Of course, it was Avalon cream cheese again. We're gonna mix it all together, getting my thumb nice and dirty. All right, and now that this guy is nice and combined evenly, we're just gonna throw it uh, into a container and into the fridge. So the next step is really easy, it's the waiting game. We throw this in the fridge for five days, and over the course of five days, it will firm up and the flavor will really start to come out. So to present this dish, we smooth our cheese out into a little round and pull it up, just like that. So it makes for easy spreading. And then I'm gonna to top it with toasted oats. Now the legend has it that a cheese maker had this cheese in his basket and earlier in the day had some oat cakes. And throughout the course of the day, the cheese got coated with oat cakes and he loved it so much that everyone still ate their cabbage cheese like that to this day. Here's our signature dish, the Bothy Cabot Cheese.